Over in the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, the Bible said, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved is the power of God. Father, well, come to you tonight. Good morning, Jesus. I pray for your blessing. We studied last night. So the strong and God, the way you laid it on, Lord, just want to preach this for me. We want to do it so bad. God help us, Lord, to follow your will and do what's right in your sight. Please both be patient this morning and, and listen on purpose. There's one God will have saved. I pray God just get them saved. Some young person, Lord, joined church early and didn't really know what they was doing. God, they might get right today. As I made that same mistake, Lord, down to us years ago. I pray and help young folk to get in, get in right, stay in right. Yeah. So the day they die, Lord, I pray you have to be found faithful until the day you call us home. Yeah. Say that one year is hell. Bless those who to join the church. Yeah. Use those, Lord God, that are members here in the mighty way to evangelize the community. Yeah. Yeah. God bless every missionary. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Oh, the cross. They all try to hurry if they can. Uh, you know, there's only one flag that can be flied above the American flag in this country. Yeah. That's the Christian flag. No law will ever come to tell you to take that Christian flag down unless we get to the place where God our control. Yeah, yeah. But the Christian flag flies above the American flag in, the, in this country any time you want it to. Yeah. The only time that will ever not be happening and not be possible is if the United Nations flag flies above the United States flag. Yeah. Yeah. Then, the American, you know, then the Christian flag can't fly above that flag. Right. But I'm telling you today, we have something in this country we ought to be thankful for. And that is Christianity. Yes. And our flag has a cross on it. Yes, sir. I'm going to preach you the cross today. Yeah. The cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. What's the cross? Is one man dying for the sins of everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. One man dying for everybody else that believes in him and have their life in life. One man dying to take away all the sins of the world that yeah. sinners might have their sins removed and forgiven and forgotten and washed away from the blood and never be mentioned again. Yeah. 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 One man dying for all other men, taking your place and taking mine. A, sin, a sinner being saved by a Savior, a blood-soaked Savior, saving a sin-soaked sinner. Yeah, I'm glad, thank yeah, God that's the way it is. That just is. trust God. Yeah. One being cursed so others might be justified. One man's death bringing eternal life to all those who believe this gospel. The gospel. Believe the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says it's foolishness to them that are all sure. Yeah. Yep. A man dying for my sins, a man taking my place, a man shedding his blood, a man, a man says he's the son of God, dying to save the son of Adam. This gospel, yeah. that Jesus Christ died to save sinners, of whom I am chief in part. Yeah. This yeah. Christ died, was buried, rose again on the third day, and justifies whosoever believed in him. Yes, sir. Yeah. This gospel, I love the gospel. David Livingston one time over in Africa told a black chief of a village the story of Jesus. The chief began to tremble, fell to his knees and began to scream for God to save him. There's power in this gospel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the time when the man preached and I listened and paid attention on purpose. And God saved my soul that night. I'm telling you, there's power in the gospel. Yes. It will save you. Sure. It will keep you. Yeah. It will help you. Yeah. And one day, present you blameless in heaven. Yeah. 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 I'm going to preach to the cross today. We get down yes. here and do it. The blood represents life. Yeah. Shed blood represents death. Yeah. The Bible 17, 11 says that God gave you the blood upon the altar for an atonement for your soul. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Jesus died for you to sure. save you from your sin. The way of the cross leads home. Yes, I tell you, it's the only bloody trail that you can get there. Yep. Amen. Yep. It's a bloody trail to heaven. And when you get to Calvary, you can see for forever from there. I'm telling you, you get to, when you get to Jesus, your eyes flash on eternity. Yep. You begin to forget about the temporal stuff and the stuff right here and right there. And you start looking down the road for a place called glory. So I said some of these Christians that shouts all the time through heavenly minded to be earthly good. I found out that almost doing any good. Yeah. <laughs> Reach your eyes on heaven, friend. Yeah. Reach your eyes on Calvary. It's a way to the cross leads yeah. home. Yeah. You go by the cross, I'll get home or you'll never get yeah. home. Amen. Amen. I want to show you something here very quick. Number one, Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. Number two, I'm crucified too, says Galatians 2.20. Yeah. And number three, where are the marks of the cross in your life? Very quick. Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. He died in our place and paid our debt 
Now we can go free. Some say good works. We need good works. We must have good works. By your fruit, you're known. Show me your faith, I'll show you my faith by my works. You've got to work for Jesus if you're saved. If you say you're saved and never do anything for Christ, I doubt it. But the fact simply this, yes, good works will not save you. You see an old song, and you can hear the guy say, And on the other side of Calvary, my friend, But God will reward you for it. We're saved by grace through faith, not works of the man to boast. Yeah. If you're saved by your works, I can, you can boast and make me feel bad. Yeah. We're afraid of you giving out the Calvary. It's level ground. Yeah. Yeah. Level ground for the cross. Amen. Amen. Some say, my friend, works will get you something, get you rewarded. It's all going to get you if you're working for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You do be seen of men, then you already got the reward. Yeah. Hatch on the back. That's right. right. Now watch it very quick. Good works on the wrong side of the cross or filthy rags, says the Bible. Yes. And we see joining church is good. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. You need to be part of a local city. Yes. Working in that community as living in the lump, light in the, in the darkness and salt in the earth. We need to be busy in this community yes. for Jesus. Yes. Part of a local organized church that's on the business for winning souls right. Christ. Yes. Got our eyes on the missions for Jesus. We've got to be in that situation. Yes. And baptism is wonderful, but baptism is not saved you. Right. I've been baptized five or seven or fourteen years old. I brought a bunch of teenagers up front. We all jumped in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> On my way to hell. But when I was twenty years old, a man preached the gospel. Man. <laughs> he preached with power. He preached with demonstration. He preached with the Holy Ghost and the conviction of God settled on my soul. Yeah. That night I wasn't popping June come and giggling and sniggering and punching my friends on the pew. I was turning down that aisle and you're saying, yeah. That night I throw my knees about this side of the altar. Uh, uh, communion table all right there. Fell back right there and God came in my heart. Yes. Yes. I've been saved ever since. Oh, yeah. I ain't doubt it. And I like it. I want it that way. Yeah. I enjoy being a Christian. Yeah. I want yeah. to serve Jesus. I'm not perfect. I don't never think I am about getting one thing. But you can have look for me. I don't need that good in the way. Sincerity. The heathens are sincere in what they do. They are so sincere they used to shrink heads and eat the body that was on their heads. They were sincere. The voodoo doctor told them that if you don't eat the enemy, then their spirit will haunt you. So he killed him and gave him. Cruelty. Foolishness. We call them heathens. But a heathen is anybody that does not know the living God. Yeah. You can be sincere, but be sincerely wrong. Yes, sir. And die and go to hell. John 14, 6, he said this, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Yep. He was telling you, he's the only way to the Father. Yes, Don't try nothing else. No. Yep. And over in Acts, it says this very plainly, 4 and 12, there's no other name given unto heaven among men, for by we must be saved. He just looked on Nicodemus in the eyeballs and must be born again. Amen. There's some things you must do if you're not going to heaven. Yeah. Preach when I say to do it, if you trust in Christ, that's do it. Yeah. Get baptized and do it. That don't save you. Join church and do it. That don't save you. But when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ down deep in your heart, you get born again by the Holy Ghost and your life is changed. Change yeah. 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 and rearrange. Yeah. 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 And your conscience. Your conscience. Does it bother you? Is it hard to? Yeah. The conscience is a candle of the Lord. Search out in the yes. He knows your deepest, darkest thoughts. Yeah. 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 He knows what you're thinking. Yeah. He knows why you're thinking. Yeah. He knows what you're going to do to stop you from thinking that way if you're paying attention. Yeah. 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 God knows it all. I read a book one time when I mentioned that Campbell thing about it. This man said, I ate human flesh. Now he's a Baptist preacher. <laughs> Missionaries came to the Aborigines in these islands and preached Christ. And the whole village got saved and quit eating people. You see, if you've got shipwrecked and you land on one of them islands, <laughs> if the missionaries hadn't got there before you did, you'd either be at the dinner or invite the dinner. <laughs> Thank God them missionaries been paying them wild animals. God has changed the hearts of the vilest, most wretched, wicked men on planet Earth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sociology couldn't do it. The psychiatrists couldn't. Yeah. Let's God reformation couldn't do it. 
Rehab didn't get the job done. But Jesus got the job done. Amen. Amen. That's good, ain't it? Yes. Your conscience. Your conscience ain't nothing just a, he, he just beats you all the time. He just tells you a sinner. You're wicked. You're going to hell. You ain't worth a dime. Y'all be burnt this day. Y'all be crucified. Him. The, the conscience always bombs burnt. He never stops to let you give an invitation to him. He never stops us to take a break. He's always beating and bounding on you right. until Jesus comes in. Right. Then the Bible says we have a pure conscience and a good conscience yeah. for God. Yeah. <laughs> when I laid my head down at night, honey, there's something peaceful about that thing. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have nightmares and had what's called frustration dreams, but all I do now is dream about my Jesus not going to heaven. Yeah. I dream and I dream good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus yeah. makes all the yeah. difference. Yeah. 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 If you'll come and trust Christ, the Holy Ghost do something in you that can't be undone. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Well, number one, number two, I'm crucified to the Bible says in Galatians 2 20. Listen to it. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself. Yes, amen. I'm crucified with Christ. Yes. Are you crucified with Christ? Yes. The Bible says you are. Yes, sir. Yeah. When he died, by faith you died. Yeah. Yeah. And when you trust him, you're born again and you live. Yeah. A life of faith even in your flesh. The flesh is enmity with God. The flesh is an enemy of God. Yes, the flesh has no good thing but an enemy. But when you get born again, there's something inside you you didn't put down. Yeah. Mom and Dad didn't put it down. Yeah. Your genealogy didn't put it down. Yeah. Yeah. Baptist yeah. church didn't put it down. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God God Almighty put something yeah. in there. Yeah. That the world can't kill, can't steal, can't yeah. take away. Yeah. It's real yeah. and life. Yes. Thank God for real life. Amen. 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 You know a crucifix? Look at the cross. Picture, if you can, a man nailed to that cross. It's called a crucifix. Number one, it is fixed. Number two, it's fastened. Think of that. It's attached. It's there for the duration. It cannot come down a lot. It can only face one direction. Yeah. Now listen, listen. <laughs> it can't look back. Amen. You looking backwards, you ain't going to be crucified by Christ. You can't look back. A crucifix can't look back. If you be crucified by Christ, you can't look back. Amen. Well, that'll make some of you mad, glory to God. <laughs> if you're nailed to the tree, you can't look back. It's a straight and narrow glance forward. A crucifix. A man nailed to a tree has a very narrow vision. You cannot lay your cross down. Double cross and cross down. Jesus said in Luke 9, He said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. They and take up his cross and follow me. Yes. Yep. Double cross and cross back. Oh, you served him for a year or two, now you're making you the bread. Yeah. Jesus didn't take up her. No, sir. Yeah. No, sir. Yeah. You better not shame on you. No. Cannot come down alive. He was there for the duration. Yeah. I'm crucified with Christ, Galatians 2 20. Thus, yeah. Jesus says, we were baptized by the Spirit into the body of Christ. And by faith, when he died, I died. Yet I live. So what died? Read your Bible. The old man is dead. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that old song I ain't the man I used to be. Yeah. But that old man that lived in sin, loved yeah. sin, practiced sin, enjoyed sin, invented new sin. Yeah. Come on. I told him Romans chapter one. Yeah. He's dead. Now his instruments are righteousness. God help me. Yeah. And I know when I ain't died, I know that. 
that. I got to confess no to my inside. And that's when I get on my knees and pray, God, get right. Yes. Yes. I want to be right. Yes. Yes. So I can help you get right. Yes. The fact is this very plain that the old man was dead. Yes. Something died in you when you got born again. Something laid down and don't never get back up. Something's crucified with Christ. The Bible said you're crucified with Christ, yet you're alive in the flesh. Yes. But do you walk in the Spirit? Are you filled with faith? Yes. The life you now live in the flesh, you live by the faith of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. The just shall live by faith. Yes. Without faith, the apostles be God. Yes. You've got to believe that God wants you to do this, and then do it. you got to believe God wants you to do that, and then do it. You see, faith is the evidence of substance. The Holy Ghost will divide between right and wrong. And you walk that straight out of that. Yeah. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Pay attention. The old nature, the old flesh and lust are crucified with Christ. I read a good news from Modern Man Bible one time. You can't find one now. The Fletcher's Bible. I knew it wasn't the last. That'd be a lot of it. But it said Christ came to the nature. Like in the man's sinful nature. That ain't what the book says. That's right. If he came with a nature like a man's sinful nature, he'd have a nature I've got and make him a sin. Yeah. All right. All right. He came in the lives of man's sinful faith, yet without sin. That's my Jesus I'm talking about. He had a body just like mine, whooped it down with him. Yes, he sure did. Whooped him in the wilderness, whooped him down with the sinner, whooped him everywhere, whooped him in his place. Yes, sir. He was in a body like mine, sitting there with six I am, yet without sin. He knows what it is to be tempted. The shepherd knows what it is to be a lamb. Yeah, 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 yeah. The good shepherd knows. Let me say something about the good shepherd before it leaves my mind. A good shepherd always smells like a dirty sheep. <laughs> you know why? Because he's carrying on his shoulder. Back to the fold. I'm heading home, friend. And he's taking all my stench away from me. Wait, 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 wait. That's the other story. Go back to this. The old nature, the old flesh of us, they are dead. Let me show you these things. You go up on Mitchell Hill. There's a grave there called Leland Mitchell. Huh? Hey, Pop. Yes, man, let's go get a beer. Hey, Pop. I know where it's good looking chicken, Mama. Come on, let's go. He ain't going to get up. He's dead. Yeah, that's right. So the old man and you dead, you ain't supposed to get him back up. No, that's right. And that dead thing lies up, he stayed for us and did before he went down. Yeah, that's right. This is good, friend. That old man's dead. I can't expect him to do what he used to do. I don't expect him to be like what I used to be. I don't expect him to talk like I used to talk. I don't expect him to steal like I used to steal. I don't expect him to do those things anymore. Oh, that old man. Yeah. 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 Well, I came to this funeral, I guess I'll be no more. I'm truth out of Christ, the cross of Jesus Christ. You repent of your sins and you exercise faith in Christ, and then the Holy Ghost comes in and gives you strength to follow through with your profession and follow through with your salvation and follow through with your repentance under salvation, not through repentance. You see, once you get saved, you've got that come along beside you. Yes. Yes. That comfort. That help. Yes. That one that dwells in you telling you what's right, what's wrong, where to go, what to do. Yes. If it wasn't for the Holy Ghost, you and I'd be in trouble. All oh, yes. 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 Thank God for the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. The hardest thing you'll ever do is die of sin. Yes. I've, I've done it. I know. Yes. Finally, you break out the hour of Jesus. Yes. Take it all. Yes. Give me Jesus. Boy, something happened Hard thing to do, die. One time I was talking to the fellow, he was talking about the, the different works of, of grace. Did you get saved? Did you get filled with the Holy Ghost? Did you get sanctified? I was waiting. As all that happened, that night I got saved. He said, if all that happened, you'd have died. Bless God again. <laughs> <laughs> the old man died that night. And I don't want him back. And you don't want him back. Nobody wants that thing back. No. I bet it's gone, gone, gone. Yes. And hell yes. will never see me. Yes, amen. amen. Thank you for the gospel of Jesus Christ. The more you live, the more you die. The more you die, the more you live. Because the Bible says the Lord Christ, the eyes gain. 
Ain't that wonderful? Yes, sir. Matthew 16, 24, then said Jesus unto the disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And Luke says daily. But here it just says, Follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall be it. If you'll crucify the flesh, if you'll nail it to the tree, if you'll die of the sin, free, you can walk in high cotton. You can walk in the spirit. You can have joy in the spirit, full of glory. There now in my heart. Woo! Go! Life points this. Where are the marks of the cross in your life? Galatians 6 7 6 says, From henceforth, let no man. I'm going to sip over here, please. Get a little back to the here. From henceforth, let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Yeah. What do people have to do to figure out if you're a Christian or not? Yeah. 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 Simple question. What does people have to do to figure out which side of the fence you're on? Yeah. Yeah. Your life ought to show it. Yes, yeah. Bless God if you don't. You fall short of what God saved you for. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You need to let, the light, let your life shine. Yeah. Well, I was baptized by the Spirit of the body of Christ. And by faith, when He died, I died. Now, when He's marched up in your life, when you're crucified with Christ, if you've been crucified with Christ, why do you still live like you do? You need to lay down bad habits, drinking, smoking, cutting, yeah. lying, cheating, stealing, go right to the and all such things. Yes, sir. Lay them down. Yeah. Those things are supposed to be crucified. They're supposed to be dead. Yes. Another said one time, said, won't, mean no, won't make no difference a thousand years from now. Ask Adam. Yeah. Six thousand years ago, we're still something like that. <laughs> Eve got into the chat room with the devil. I think about it. Yeah. And he out talked her. Then Adam came in the same chat room and she out talked him. And everybody's been out talked since. But I'm telling you, we were in desperate trouble. 6,000 years ago, Adam made a mess and we're still stuck. Sure, that's right. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. And Abraham made a mess. Yep. We're still stuck. We're still stuck. Your mom and dad made a mess. You're still suffering. You made a mess. Your children are going to suffer. They'll make a mess. Their children are going to suffer. It does make a difference a thousand years later. What you do today will have rippling effects throughout eternity. Yes, it will. No man lives to himself, no man dies to himself. Says the Bible. Yes. Time for us to get right from living right. So our influence and effects will have good to the back. I'm hurry. I'm going to be with hunger. <laughs> when you get eternal life, get, when you say get eternal life, what's going to happen in this instance? What's going to happen to everything you possess once you die? All kids will slaughter it up and buy dope and drugs and whatever and be gone. So things you do now does make a difference in the next generation of God. You lay down your life for Christ. And He will honor that. He'll work on your yards. Work on your yards. So the Bible said in Acts, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be his and thy house. Post through us influence is what that's called. Even after you're dead, your influence goes on. Yes, sir. Yes. It does make a difference yeah. what you do today. Yes, right. Well, move on. I'm going to leave that point. Bear your cross. Have some, have some marks of the in your life. You should plan everything for Jesus' glory. It's strange how those things that you thought were important now are silly whims and passing fancies. When you say eternal things take the place of carnal things and temple things, it doesn't matter too much how many words on a toad's head now. When you, when you get into the spiritual thing, you don't care much about the, the book flyers and flipping you know you got your mind on yeah, right. yeah, yeah. that's where you can be some heavenly good uh -huh. give you a special on quick conclusion the story on okay. Cain how many of you know the uh, reason for raising your right hand putting the left on the Bible and saying I do how many knows the reason for that back in early America and also in Europe they had what they call uh, uh, 
benefit of clergy. Suppose you was on trial for your life with a capital offense, and evidence is about mounted up against you, and you realize you're going to lose that case. Maybe you're innocent, maybe you wasn't. You realize you're going to lose the case. You stop the whole thing and plead benefit of clergy. What's the benefit of clergy meant, preacher? Me? That means a preacher comes in with a King James 1611 Bible. That's what they used back in that day. Yeah. Yeah. And laid it down in front of the accused man. If that accused man could read Psalm 51 all the way through without making one mistake, they exonerated him and set him free. Or is that because they believed that God had judged between him and set him free? Now you try. I tried this morning to read Psalm 51 all the way through. 19 verses. I made nine mistakes in 19 verses. Now I got a college education. And I don't read very well, but that's bad you make nine mistakes in 19 verses. But if you could read that 19 verses without making one mistake or standing or stuttering, they set you free. But they branded your head with a cross. And when you came into court and raised right hand, Another case, if you had your cross in your hand, they knew they couldn't try for the same case again. Yeah. But they also knew you couldn't plead benefit of clergy again. What are you trying to say, preacher? I'm trying to say you're saved one time or you ain't never saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Benefit of clergy. Has yeah. your heart been branded with the cross? Yeah. Man, it's on the outside. God from the heart. Yeah. Is the cross of Christ valuable to you, precious? Yeah. Yeah. More valuable than silver and gold, diamonds and jewels? A lot of clothes. I may be guilty. I might not can read that chapter all the way through that made a mistake. But Jesus, my Savior. Yeah. Mistakes or not, yeah. something down in here yeah. takes a place of what I can't do. Yeah. What Christ did for me will satisfy the Father for you Yes, sir. I wish I could read the whole Bible without ever making a mistake. Yeah. I wish I could live the whole Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Without ever making a mistake. Yeah. I wish my life was flawless. I wish I was super duper man. Yeah. Never messed up. Yeah. But I'm not. That's, right. That's why I need a cross. Yeah, a Savior died on that cross. Yeah, Blood shed on that cross. Yeah. Somebody loved me and made up the difference with my sin cursed soul in Christ. Amen. 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 It's Jesus, son. Smile at me. I go, amen. It's Jesus. He can take the vilest, most wretched, and godless sin and make him so clean that God sees him as a born again baby with no past, nothing but a wonderful future. Calvary makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. Jesus died for you. He died not for my sins only, but for sins of the whole world, including you. Yeah. He loves you. The cross. Christ died on one. Number two, you should be crucified with Christ. The Bible says, if you have been, live like you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And show the marks of the cross of your life. Yes, sir. I do. Yeah. Do you believe this book? Do you believe in the Savior? I do. Are your sins gone? I do. Yeah. Everything God says I agree with. Have no room for our God. You want to go to the project Christ? Get the sin. Yeah. Here is what God says God. Yeah. Let's stand. The cross. Oh, it ought to be more valuable than anything else. The cross. Christ died. Oh, the cross. Where you should have been. Where I should have been. Christ died for sinners. Of whom I am chief, said Paul. The man who wrote 13 books, maybe 14 books in the Bible. Paul said he was chief of sinners. God, help you find yourself at the cross. Now, let me show you something. Reading Psalm 51. You say, anybody can do that Christ. It didn't take the witness of the Holy Ghost. You read it without stuttering or stammering or mispronouncing the word. I promise you will. Try it. Psalm 51, 19 verses. If you was on trial for your life, you'd go to hell. Amen. Amen. 
Because you can't do it. You just can't do it. You've got to have help. Listen, you've got to help Jesus. To intercede for you. To pray the prayer for you. To give his life for you. You need Jesus. Come on.